we're off again. Sun's out. It's a lot hotter than the last time I went out. It's about low 20s. Going up to the top of the mole saddle up near Mount Robert. 1,650 meters, maybe 1,700 meters. It's a schlep in this heat. Carrying a bit more gear, because I'm going right up top, and I want to do two nights, so I've got more food. I want to be more, a bit more comfortable. Got Bruce. Bruce. Bruce the pup with me again, in his backpack. Let me just carry him over this fence. Right. Got him over. So, walk in the bush. It's gonna take me the fastest I've ever got up the top, right to the top, non-stop. It was five hours. Um, that was with other people as well. Um, so you gotta go at a, a different pace, but still we were, we we're pushing it. Um, it is warm today, very warm. I haven't been up here since winter. And last time I came up, I was in the snow, deep snow, it was cold. It's a lot easier to walk then. But I wanna push, I wanna get up there doesn't get dark up there till almost nine o'clock now so I've got plenty of time to get up set my tent up all right I'll come back in a bit once I've pushed through this bit here and explain the gear I've got what I'm filming on and expectations of this trip Come back in a bit. So, we're off again. Big trip up the tops. Sort of 23 degrees centigrade, 24 degrees, something like that. It's warm. A uh, bit of a sucker for doing this in this temperature, but whatever. I need to get out. Could be the last opportunity I get this season. I haven't been up here since since it was freezing cold. I was up in the snow. If you want to check out my last video, I think that was where I did a review of this camera, the DJI DJI Osmo Action. Uh, I've got Bruce with me again, a trusty border collie who loves camping. Hopefully there's a bit of snow up there for him to play in. Um, I'll come back shortly uh, to explain what gear I've got, uh, what camera I'm using, settings, blah, blah, blah. As you can tell, I'm right in the middle of deep stuff at the moment, so I'll get this out of the way first. Come back to you in a bit. Right, I've punched through that bit. It's hot. My watch says it's 30 degrees, but it's, I'm wearing it, so I reckon that messes with it. It's just coming up to 4 p.m. The fastest I've, I've ever got to the, the top here in is five hours. That was with other people. This time, I wanna get up there in four, which means non-stop. And just push, push, push. Eat and drink on the go. Bruce takes care of himself. Get up there, get the tent set up. It'll be dark. Probably just turning dark by the time I get up there. Uh, but it is hot. Camera, I'm using my DJI Osmo Action. 
I don't know if this is too dark. I've got the settings to be on the dark side because when you break out out of the bush, it's really bright. And auto mode isn't very good. It flicks around a lot. I'm not using an external microphone because DJI's adapter for an external microphone doesn't really work. You don't know if you're getting sound recorded. It's a bit of a clusterfuck. I was tempted to film this whole thing on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film going up with the Osmo Action. I'll film a lot up there with the Osmo Action. And then coming down, and when I'm finished, I'll film with the iPhone 11 Pro Max and see how that compares. I've got a feeling the iPhone is gonna blow away the Osmo, which I can already see is struggling with the light balance. I don't know why. Maybe a setting. I'll have a look at it in a minute. All right, I've got some more to punch through. Come back to you soon. Half an hour in. This is a brutal climb. Don't know if you can tell. I'm sweating like crazy. It's so humid and pretty damn hot. But up there, if you can make out, looks like rain clouds, maybe thunder. Uh, that would suck, because then it's still just as humid, <laughs> but you're getting drenched with rain as well, and all your gear gets wet. <sighs> Christ, it's so much harder than in winter. Bruce has gone off to find water in the stream. Everything's so dry. Plus, there's a taste in the air from, oh, from the Australian bushfires. You can definitely smell it. When we get to the top, Probably when I video, it won't be as clear because of those bushfires, but you know, please don't rain. Right, thank God from the buff. Buff is stopping the sweat going in my eyes. I've got a lot of gear here. Uh, can't be bothered to explain what I've got until I get to the top, which is another, hopefully, Three and a half hours, but it's the first half hour. Hey, Brucey. There's Bruce. Bruce, what are you doing? You're showing me the way. Hey, you're showing me the way. It's your dinner time soon, isn't it? Not yet, but you can have your dinner soon. Oh, bless him. <laughs> I've said the dinner word. You say hi to everyone. So, yeah, I'll explain what I've got when I get to the top and hopefully it cools down a bit the higher I get. Should be about 15 degrees difference up there. The first hour of this thing is a major, major hassle. Just so steep. Jameson Ridge track. If you ever want to do it to get to the mall tops, be prepared. There's no water en route and it is a non-stop climb in the first 45 minutes to an hour are just gut-wrenching. Right, enough whinging. Probably won't come back to you now until I get to the top. Catch you then. Been going just over two hours, two and a quarter hours, and I'm out of the bush. That was hard. The rain never came, but it's just a menacing cloud. 
Sorry about the wind noise. Try and shield it with my body. It's not that windy, but it will be up there. I can see it's in the clouds. This is not going to be fun. I've still got to get up there. We uh, aim up there. I don't know if you can make out. I've got to go up that ridge line all the way up there into those clouds and then set the tent up. And judging by the speed that those clouds are going over that ridge, it's probably 40, 40 kilometers an hour. So it's gusting. Should be interesting. I started cramping up a bit. Had to drink some my isotonic, but uh, I've just got to get on with it now. Could be another two hours up there. So come back to you when I'm pretty much up there. Maybe I'll come back to you when I'm in the wind. Yep. Here comes the rain. I'm gonna get wet. Getting wet now, big fat raindrops. Pretty miserable looking sky. Bruce is loving it. I'm hoping this doesn't last long and it blows through and then I dry off in this wind. A rain jacket is buried halfway down my backpack. A real pain in the ass to get out. So I just need to, come on Bruce. I need to get cranking. It's pretty brutal though. After all that, slogging up and then to get out here, no sun, and big fat raindrops, I don't know if you can hear them. But uh, hey ho, that's life on the tops. 20 odd degrees down the bottom, much, much colder up here. Anything can happen in a space of a thousand meters. All you can do is have the right gear. So if I have to stop, put my gear, my raincoat on and I will. Alright, hopefully the next next report will be from the top. Whatever condition that's gonna be in up there. Quite dangerous I'd have thought, but there you go. See you up there. Welcome to Mars. So, climbing up this, sorry about the wind, I'll try and keep it out of the microphone, this is steep, got about another half an hour, 40 minutes to go, which is good, because we're probably going to lose the light from setting up the tent in the dark. any longer. So I've got to plug on, get up there, get the tent up because the temperature has dropped dramatically and shelter is life-saving up here, especially in the wind that we're getting now. So next time you see me, I'll have the tent up. Bruce, where are you going?
gold. All right, sorry. It was all a bit rushed there because it's starting to rain, as you can probably hear. Just getting all my gear in before it starts chucking down. Bruce's towel. He's soaking wet. Oh man, it's cold. Can't wait to change my gear. The weather really kicked in there. So it was 25 degrees down there. It's, it's about 8 degrees centigrade up here. Shit, I can see my lamp just come on. It's irritating. Hmm. Well, I just drained my lamp. Oh well, it's a good job I've got a head torch. Yeah, it's starting, to, it's starting to come down bit by bit. It's a bit worse. That was perfect timing. I'll give you a rundown of all my gear in a minute. Uh, now it is checking down. That timing couldn't have been any better. Hey Bruce, what are you doing? Hang on a second, hold on. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, so how long did that take? It's 8 o'clock now. I can't remember what time I said we started off. I think it was 3 or 4. I don't know. It's late. It's still light out, which is good. Okay. So what I need to do is first get Bruce out of the rain and then on his bed here. Yeah. Uh, snuggles up on it. That is that's his bed. Come here. Yes. Come on. Come on. Here. Good boy. Let's dry you off. Wet dog. Wet feet. Wet everything. Come over here. Come here. Good boy. Yes. That's all I need is a wet dog in the tent. Okay. No more going out for you. Right. Right. No, Bruce, lie down. Here. Come and lie down. Stay down. Stay down. Just lie there. Not going out anymore. No. Luckily the wind is blowing in in this direction. So staying out of here. Right, I'm going to get all this unpacked and I'll come back to you. So, we're all cosy here now. I don't know if you can make out everything in here. It's still raining outside, but gently. I've got my Thermo Rest X light, Neo Air X light, yeah, and my Thermarest chair kit. So you just sit back in this, very comfy. Um, but to avoid the crotch shot, I'm not doing that right now. Coffee bags. Uh, I've just 
made up a soup with some sausage, minestrone soup. I'm starving and I'm cramping up a bit. So I need, I need some salt. And this will definitely give me the kick that I need. Um, Bruce has settled down. I don't know if you can really make him out. He's over here. He wants to be outside playing in the rain. Um, let's see if I can show you where he is. There he is. Can you say hello to the camera? No? No. It's going to salt. Um, gosh, this LED is quite bright. I've got a yellow lens on it to, so it doesn't quite look so bright, but still pretty bright. Sorry, struggling here. There. How's that? Is that better? Right, so what I'm going to do is chow down a bunch of this savory mix because it's got loads of salt in it. Uh, that will stop me cramping. And then I'll eat this and then maybe I'll give you more of a rundown of the gear that I've got uh, to keep me warm. What sleeping bag I've got with me, quilt, um, and other things. And I'll catch a movie as well on my phone. So I'll catch you in a bit when I've sorted my act out and eaten. All right. Stop recording. Morning everyone. Well, last night didn't quite go according to plan. I got, I oh, started feeling a bit sick because I took some ibuprofen, so I had to finish that food. Uh, and then I was just knackered. So, um, I lay down to watch a movie. And I just passed out, and that was it. It's about 7.30 now. It rained pretty much all night. But this is what I've been greeted by. I mean, how beautiful is that? So, let me uh, get out the sleeping bag, get dressed, and I'll take you out for a wonder. Have a look at my view. Tent, soaking wet, it's drying, waiting for the sun to come out, the wind to pick up a bit to dry some stuff out. Quite a lot of condensation in there, but not surprising really, considering where I am, right by the tarn. Hey Bruce, still quite a bit of snow around, which I'm surprised about. Uh, about a month ago, I wouldn't be able to get up here at all. That whole pass would have just been covered in snow. So this is the Mole Tops. That's the highest point up there. 1,000, I think it's 1,800 meters. We're at about 1,700 meters now. I'm just waiting for the sun to break through that cloud. Start drying everything off. But the spot was perfect. Couldn't have asked uh, 
for better timing. It just started chucking down with rain. The second I started pitching up the tent, uh, if I'd been 10 minutes late, then uh, yeah, I'd have got really wet. As it is, my gear is a little bit wet, but that will dry out. Hopefully the tent will dry out. Uh, we've got one more night here. Um, it's meant to be a nice sunny day. <sighs> Do some exploring with Bruce. Take some, uh, take some good shots. I mean, Bruce is, I don't know if you can even see him. He's, he's way up there. He's gone up to the sun and that's a sheer drop off that cliff. So he's got balls of steel. He might have seen a chamois or a deer, probably a chamois. Bruce, come on. He probably saw a chamois. Look at him go. He loves it here. Come on. Do you want your breakfast? He is just in his element as usual, but not covered in snow this time. How are you doing? You want your breakfast? Yeah? Okay. All right. I'm going to give him his breakfast and um, wait for the sun to come out and start drying everything off. I'll come back to you in a bit. You want your breakfast?
sun's finally coming out. I've noticed a funny thing with the with the Osmo. It uh, the brightness is fine until it starts recording, and then it seems to struggle. I'm looking back on some of the footage; and it's pretty dark. Like this is dark. It should be a lot brighter than this, I'm sure. I don't know if it's just the screen, if it's the footage, but I think it. I think there's a bug, and I think this is going to all come out too dark, and the settings are on auto. Uh, you know, you can't manually do video because you're changing all the time into the sun, out the sun, everything. So we'll see how this does. Um, I've got a feeling the iPhone is going to blow it away. Um, I think DJI are still struggling to iron out a lot of the problems and it seems like every time they fix something they break something. So we'll see. Um, but I might switch to the iPhone later today. And then you can compare side by side. Right, I'm going to uh, cook up. Well, first I'm going to have a coffee, and then I'm going to cook up some breakfast. Hey, Brucey, what you doing? You having a nice swim? Hey? What you doing? Oh, look at you. He is loving this. Seventeen hundred meters and having a swim. Hmm? You're gonna stink after this, aren't you? You're gonna be so wet. Hopefully you'll dry out soon. How was that? Hey? Go on, one, two, three, go! It's a fun. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, can you hear me? Testing. So, change of plan. Um, I'm gonna head out early because weather forecast says uh, there's a whole load of rain coming from uh, the west, sort of over in that direction. <laughs> it's difficult to tell right now but there is some cloud building, as you can see up there, dark cloud. But right now it's absolutely beautiful. It's quite cool, but it's nice. So I just don't want to pack up in the morning with a wet tent and soaking wet and have to hike out three hours out and howling wind and rain. So yeah, I'm going to pack everything up. Uh, I've already started with the sleeping bag and stuff. Um, and then uh, do a little maybe time-lapse of me getting everything down. 
and then uh, record me going down. I've now switched cameras. I'm on my iPhone 11 Pro Max on the wide aperture. So it'll be really interesting to compare, compare this footage uh, to the Osmo Action, especially on moving around because the Osmo Action has this thing called Rock Steady, uh, whereas the iPhone has optical stabilization. So we'll see, see what the difference is, see what the sound difference is and see what the lighting is. Obviously this is all on auto on the iPhone. You don't have to change any settings, 4K, 60 frames. So this will be an interesting test. If, if this is much better than the Osmo, then I'll stop using the Osmo. Um, we'll see. Catch you later. Bruce, what's up to you? Ready? One, two, three, go, 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 go. Where are you going? Hey, look at the mess you are. All packed up, my gear done. Bruce has got his pack on. Where is he? Bruce, got your pack on? Good boy. All packed up, Bruce has got his pack on. I'm all done, ready to go. My gear in the pack. Definitely got cooler and the cloud is definitely coming in now. It's getting darker. So I think this is the right call, get off the mountain. So the plan is to hike almost all the way over to that scree slope and that snow bank there, and then drop off the edge down to the bush. So I'll come back to you over there as we come over the ridge. Whew. Here we are at the can. And we came from that plateau just there. That's where the tent was. Just hiked all along the ridge and the can marks the way down. So let's go down the spooky bit. Can't wait to see how this footage turns out compared to using the Osmo. Again, this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max on super wide. There's Lake Rotorua there, just there in the distance. That's the mole saddle all along here. And you got Nelson sort of over there. And that's the valley road down there that we drove along. And the car is parked right at the bottom of that green ridge. This is Jameson Ridge. The car is parked right down there. So you have to do a loop. You have to go down this ridge here, all the way around, and then back down and down that ridge there. So this is a bit of a Martian landscape. It's quite steep in places. 
as you'll see. But you've got to do what you've got to do to get up to these beautiful spots. I never did go over the gear properly that I brought with me. Um, I might do that at the end of the video. Uh, so in case you spotted anything, and I'll tell you the stuff that was great and not so great as usual. Uh, but for now, I'm going to get down this horrible bit and uh, head back to the car, which should take about three hours. So what I think I might do is uh, put this on again when I've got past this hard bit. All right, I'll see you down Jesus, look at Bruce go. Four legs compared to two. Hell of a lot easier. Super slippery this bit. This is where walking pole would be quite handy. That was the worst of it. I don't think this camera does it justice. That's a long way down. Don't know if there are any deer down in this valley. Usually are. It's Bull Creek. And that leads out into the lake over there. There's usually deer down there. It's great hunting up here at the right time of year. Lots of chamois. You can usually see the animal tracks. You can see them sometimes sunbathing over there. I'd have to zoom in on this footage afterwards to see if there is anything there. Might be something there. I'm sure Bruce would have spotted them if there was. All right, that's the worst of it over. Catch you at the bottom of the ridge.
All right, so update. We're about 15, 15 minutes from the car. It's a good slap down. I had a couple of stops. Uh, let Bruce have a drink. Had some nibbles, took my time. There's no rush to get back. I've uh, got a tricky little spot here, which is a waterfall crossing. A little stream crossing, I should say. It's a waterfall further up. Uh, when it's in full melt, this thing is a torrent and even Bruce struggles to get across it. But right now it's a tiny little stream. Uh, I'll show you. So you can see the logs that have collapsed across it and the boulders that move down. When this thing's in full flood, it is unbelievable and you're really scary to cross. This run a walking stick really helps. See the stones are slippery. But it's beautiful. Look at that. It's like Jurassic Park. So, yeah, not far to go now. Just got some up and downs to clamber over. I'll join you again at the river. What's going on, Bruce? Do you have a drink? So I'm going to back up into the bush. That's where I've came, come from, right up the top there. Isn't that right, Bruce? That was hard work coming down. Ah, always a lot easier than going up, but still pretty brutal. And it's really humid down here. Yeah, is it humid and hot? Such a contrast from the top there, where it was pretty cold when I left. Not complaining though, what a spot. So, yeah, be back in the car in a little over five minutes. Um, I'll report back once I'm in the car and on my way out of here a quick summary of my gear and what worked and then if you've got any questions about the gear let me know okay Right, so we've made it. We're in the car. What a, that was a tough 24 hours. It was a long way up. Just hold the camera still. I'm going slowly through here anyway. So I'm gonna do this quickly because I wanna get back and I think the camera's wobbling all over the place. It's not holding it very well. Um, the gear I had was the MSR Hubba Hubba NX2 tent. Awesome as always, 100% waterproof, great tent, easy to set up, easy to get down, plenty of room. Um, I <laughs> tried so many other tents, but I keep coming back to that one. If, uh, if I'm not sure 100% about what the weather's going to be like, I would always take that. Wouldn't bother with a Land Shan or anything else like that. They're just not built the same. Um, sleeping bag stroke quilt was the Enlightened con uh, Equipment Conundrum. First time I've used it. Very warm. Um, I've just got to work out the best way to use it. Some situations the quilt is good, others switch it straight to the sleeping bag, but that's the whole point. The Thermarest X Lite Neo Air sleeping pad. Um, it's okay. 
it's okay. It's not as comfortable as the, uh, sorry, Neo Air X-Therm. I mean, this is the X-Lite, it weighs less and it's not four season, but it was okay, it was comfy, comfy enough. I should have gone for a bigger one, I think, but it, it did the job, it was fine. I had my uh, foam inflatable pillow, that was fine. Um, my Mac pack Uber down jacket, Uber light down jacket, awesome piece of kit, so warm, so nice. Love that, it's so small, take that everywhere. What else, my Thermarest chair, I didn't use it much, to be honest, I was so tired that I didn't sit upright, and because I only spent one night there, I just didn't bother with it, so didn't really need to bring it. Uh, all the other stuff, my burner, everything else is sort of AliExpress, it was all fine, you saw it all on the video, titanium cup, um, my power bank with a solar charger in it to charge the phone up. I think all of it, the star of the show, star of the whole trip was my iPhone okay it's probably the most expensive kit of everything I've got in fact it is um, the iPhone 11 Pro Max but it just it just works it's got such a long battery life I listened to audiobooks I watched a few movies on it I did videos I took photographs I did some emails at the top it's just the standout item. So, yeah, the star of the show, definitely. Um, oh my gosh, there's some kids here flying kites next to power lines. Just, oh, I guess they're not that close to power lines, but still, oh my God. Um, yeah, that was the star of the show. So, look, let's see how it compares to the DJI Osmo Action. I, I don't know until I put it into post-production. I might be being unfair on the Osmo, but from what I could tell on the screen, it just clarity and brightness and everything was nowhere near as good as the iPhone. So we'll see when I get it on the video, uh, uh, on the uh, computer and put them, you know, upload them and make the video and upload it to YouTube. We'll see what it looks like. All right, well, thanks for coming along on that. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give us a like, um, subscribe if, if you're not already. Uh, that really, you know, encourages me to go out and do more. Now I'm coming into proper hunting season, so I won't be taking Bruce in the future because I can't take him hunting. Um, and, you know, that is not so much tops, that's more down the river valley, staying in huts, stuff like that, going on the boat, but it's way more adventurous, so hopefully you'll join me for those. But it's still the same thing, it's camping with a gun. Uh, so see if you enjoy those as well All right, if I missed anything um, I'll add it in post-production uh, on audio on the video. Thanks for coming along guys Bruce you can say goodbye Yeah, Bruce says goodbye. All right. See ya I said all that and turned it around to stop the video after singing the praises of Apple and the iPhone 11. I realized it keeps defaulting back to one time zoom. And in this case, I actually went to two time zoom. I have no idea how that happened. Um, so the presets don't work. It's a new bug uh, that's come with 13.3. Uh, so that's quite irritating um, They need to fix that so I don't know if I showed up in that video or not Hopefully I did but you can hear with the gear anyway that I was talking about and stuff So hopefully that all worked. I Definitely checked this now and it says 0.5. So I'm using the wide super wide lens um, The rain has come it's just started raining so I was Right call to get off the mountain. Um, I knew it was coming. I, I knew it wasn't gonna be that heavy, but still. Leave on a beautiful sunny day off the hill, off the mountain, uh, that rather than a wet one, and then I don't have wet gear. Wet
wet tent and everything else, much easier to uh, pack away then. All right, so again, I say farewell, this time on the super wide camera. Maybe uh, you didn't see Bruce last time. Bruce, you gonna say goodbye? Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy camping, Bruce? Did you enjoy camping? Yes, he did, but he's tired. I think he wants to go back to sleep. All right, thanks for coming along, everyone. And uh, we'll see you on the next adventure.